Today, on Atmosphere of Love, Jesus wore the tone for your thinking to be one type, God kind of thoughts. Your head, I declare the blood that was shed by the crown of tongues. Don't go away. Atmosphere of Love will continue shortly. Welcome to Love Embassy of All Nations, a Bible church and a leadership training center by Edmunds Okwara Day Ministries, EOM. We have seen many lives transformed. You are next for transformation. Our peace. church is made Father, up of various the ministries, state of Israel, electronic and, and print media, church Israel. services, live Bible training sessions, and also through our website, humanitarian outreach, helping the widows, widowers, aged and the needy, anti-suicide and success campaign. The annual Love Feast, World Changers Day and Vision Day. To get more information please refer to our brochure, or log into our website www.loveembassy.in, or www.okorodey.org. These are our monthly activities, Sunday morning worship service starts at 7.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. respectively, Wednesday Bible study starts at 6 p.m. Every first Sunday is our healing service, one combined service. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. is a general prayer, healing and deliverance service, where we have the prayer line. 11 a.m. every second Saturday is our baptismal class. Every last Friday is our school of prayer, where we come to learn, pray and intercede. Three hours experience of real biblical prayer, and usually there will not be PhD on the following day which is Saturday. You can watch anytime and from anywhere our TV programs, free monthly DVDs, Teach All Nations TV report, short movies and, and more on the internet by subscribing to our YouTube channel Teach All Nations. Love Embassy of All Nations, ministering God's love in a hurting world. Atmosphere of Love. This is Atmosphere of Love. The next few minutes will revolutionize your thinking and change your life. Now let's join Apostle Edmund Zokorde as he ministers God's love in a hurting world. The second Adam has to inhale it and he was resurrected back to life. Amen. The beautiful thing that you have to see in Jesus' blood, which is about to be given to you, make sure everyone is listening, Jesus' blood, which is about to be given to you, before Yahweh blew, Jesus had to go down because Ephesians 4 says he who ascended first descended descended where? to the pits of hell Jesus went to hell say when he got to hell you have to see this graphic picture in your imagination when he got to hell there were two portions in hell according to the story of Jesus there was Abraham's bosom and also there is hell now, Abraham's bosom, Lucifer does not have right over the people there. But this way, Lucifer has right over them. Why? Abrahamic covenant created that Abrahamic bosom in hell. Because every foreskin of the male, when they are circumcised in the Old Testament, they are under the covenant of Abraham. And that secures them to be in his bosom. In the Old Testament. Now, Abraham's bosom is there. Now, Jesus comes in. Abraham and all the saints, before Jesus' death, they are all there waiting for their redemption 
in this way we have all sinners and we have demons and principalities Jesus comes in before the third day his spirit had to go where when he entered hell Satan never knew write this down the institution of blood the institution of blood I'm taking time to explain this because you are about to receive to sleep in this part of the service is like committing sin because you are about to receive this are you here Satan did not know the institution of blood because Satan was a celestial being he was in a terrestrial being Satan was a celestial being a celestial being is a spiritual being with spiritual body so he doesn't know the secret behind blood institution the law of blood sacrifice Satan doesn't know it was very necessary for Jesus to bleed to death it was very necessary because he is the lamb he is what the lamb of God and when you offer the lamb you don't give it injection to die when you offer the lamb, you don't use big wood to break his head. You cut. You do what? You cut. And the blood must go to the earth. Why? The Bible says there are three that best witness on earth. The blood, the water, and the spirit bears witness on the earth. Satan doesn't know this. When Jesus' blood will touch the earth, every sinner on earth, earth is released Satan didn't know he didn't know this if he knew this he won't allow Jesus to be crucified and if he did if he does not allow him to be crucified he also will have a very terrible time on the earth so he had no choice but to make the people crucify him saints this is exciting are you coming with me to sleep at this point of the service is like committing sin. I'm telling you the truth because you're about to participate in the most important thing on the earth that spoke for every race, every kindred, every human being. This flesh and this body spoke for them. In the institution of blood, every sacrifice must be cut. Every sacrifice must be what? Cut. And the sacrifice must bleed to death. Not strangled to death. Must be. How did Jesus die on the cross? He bled to death. His blood was pouring out. Satan was happy. He didn't know the institution of blood sacrifice. When the blood touches the altar. When blood drops on the ground, it starts to speak, understanding the blood institution. The institution of the blood. The teaching of the blood. The doctrine of the blood. A bloodless Christianity is lifeless Christianity. A Christianity without the blood of Jesus taught and understood consciously used is a dead Christianity amen the blood was shed for us he was hanging on the cross when that blood touches down sin was finished every reason why Satan must oppress people was, was met in justice was met by justice so all sinners when that blood dropped down all sinners speaks for them know what he speaks for them freedom salvation 
Amen. Amen. As the blood. Jesus blood. Remember in Exodus they have to put the blood on the doorpost. Why? It has a voice. When the angel of destruction comes, the blood will speak. This is God's people. Because the blood speaks. Ask your friend. Are you using the blood of Jesus? When you are conscious of the blood of Jesus, that works for you. Amen. And now Jesus will say now, until you drink my blood and eat my flesh, you have no part in me. Now you understand it. Because the blood Jesus' blood was sinless blood. Dove's blood and ram, lamb and, and cow, this blood, the animal blood, sinful blood. Yet they speak. If the blood of Abel spoke, a descendant of Adam and Eve who sinned against God, how will the blood of the Son of God speak loud and clear in the throne of God? <coughs> Sin is defeated, man is restored, peace to all men. Hallelujah! Peace to all. There's a power in the blood of Jesus. Are you there? Power in the blood of Jesus. Let's wrap up with this. The wounds that Jesus had, they are significant. Are you there? The crown of thorns. Significant about the renewing of the mind. Significant about one mind with who? With Christ. He wore the crown of thorns so that your mind will not have thorns. He wore it so that we can think the same with who? With him. In the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, he says, As high as the sky is from the earth, so are the ways of God differs from ours. In the New Testament, he says, He that is one with the Lord is one spirit with him. Join one spirit. We are one spirit with him. Amen. We are what? One spirit with him. Now when you, when you are one spirit with him, the crown of thorns, your mind becomes delivered. There is a way people think. Jesus wore the thorn for your thinking to be one type. God kind of thoughts. Your head. I declare the blood that was shed by the crown of thorns. I declare the voice of it over your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone present here. And those listening to me. The crown of thorns that he wore. The reality. Every blood he shed represented something to us. You are watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God, is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth and He 
faced the things that we're facing, passed through the difficulties that we passed through, and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human. This is Atmosphere of Love. Welcome back. Let's join Apostle Edmund Zocorde as he continues to share the message of God's love. Now we can say, I have the mind of Christ. Because he put the crown of thorns. Many will wear crown of gold. Many will wear crown of diamonds. Many will wear crown. But this king of kings will wear crown of thorns tons for me. God is love! The works. The palm represents the works. He shed his blood for your works. No wonder he said it is finished. Your hand, your works. Your works. Now, the Bible says, John chapter 1. Grace came by Jesus. Grace and truth. Why? He shared it. He shared it. His palm is the sign of grace. Grace, grace, grace. He shared it. Now you cannot do anything to be saved because he already done it. Amen? It works. <laughs> and the second dimension of that is John chapter 14, verse 12. He who believes in me, the works that I do, shall he do also the works. The works. The works, the works that I do, he'll do also. I know I will do, I am doing the works of Jesus. Because he, he shed the blood for it. I will preach. I will teach. I will heal the sick down. He shed the blood here. We go back to Genesis. God takes the rib from the first Adam and made woman. When the blood was shed here, it showed complete salvation for both personalities. Adam and Eve. But Adam and Eve completely restored. As though they never sinned before. What a blood! <laughs> Can you say man? We are going down to the feet. The feet was nailed. When the feet was nailed, the path of a son of God was prepared for us. That's the walk. The walk. This is the walks. This is the walk. 
This is the work. This is the work. Now you can say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Why? Because the work, the work, the work, the work. He was. He shed the blood for your work. Ephesians 2.10 We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Now the next line will really give you which he has prepared the good works, the path which he has prepared for us to walk in. Ephesians 2.10 Prepared it. Why? His feet was nailed. Our feet is free. This concludes today's episode of Atmosphere of Love. Praise the Lord. Hello and welcome to the studio. I believe you have been blessed by the clip you've watched. God's word is powerful and can change our lives and our situation. I want to read Romans chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 17. Some of us really do know that scripture. I read from the uh, New America Standard Version updated. For if by the transgression of one, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. God wants us to reign in life. God does not just want us to live in life. God wants us to reign in life. And the way you can reign in life is by the grace that you have received from the Lord Jesus Christ. You take advantage of that grace. And so how do you take advantage of that grace? By knowing and by in, do, in on intention using intention to use god's word speak god's word over your life and walking in the light of it that's how to take advantage of god's grace god's grace is abundance the bible says abundance of grace so what are you going through what are you passing through right now what is your situation like I'm here to tell you there is abundance of grace. Abundance of grace. No matter what it is, your relationship, your home, your children, no matter what it is. Uh, abundance of grace. Abundance of grace. You know, people talk about, I have this sickness. Uh, I cannot do this. I am not educated. I don't have degree. I am divorced, I lost everything, I was very rich. Many people say so many things. God wants us to reign in life. God wants us to reign in life. Are you reigning in life? We do not reign just by knowledge. We reign by the abundance of grace that we have received in the Lord Jesus Christ. Abundance of grace. In a moment we will be praying. But I have wonderful things to tell you after the prayer. So don't go away as we're about to pray. Now, two believers are better than one. Two believers are better than one. As we join our faith together, we'll crush the gates of hell in your life. We'll destroy whatever it is that is disturbing you, that is confusing you. We'll destroy, we'll, we'll destroy it together. To believe us are better than one. Don't forget the Bible says, if any two agree as touching anything on the earth, he said it shall be done unto them by the Lord in heaven. And so, are you ready to agree? That sickness must go. That record that you kept in your heart because of the situation must be erased. The script must be rewritten about your life about your health, about what you're going through. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus Christ's name, everyone under the influence of the words of eternal life through your servant in the studio right now, they are ready, plugged in to receive from you. Precious Lord, the time has come. I speak healing for sickness. I command demons of sickness to leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. That mind that has kept you in bondage, that mindset that has kept you in a cycle of slavery and limitation, be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be released in Jesus Christ's name. 
I speak the voice of Jesus' blood over your situation. Freedom in Jesus Christ's name. Freedom in Jesus Christ's name. Freedom in Jesus Christ's name. I break the power of hell in your body. I break the power of hell in your mind. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be restored. Be free from every works of darkness. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now it's a very short one but you don't need a long prayer to involve the presence of his majesty when you are his legal delegate to the nations you are free you write your email use the information that i've been showing on the screen prior or at the end of the program write your write us an email share your testimony we'll be glad to share it with the world before i go i have wonderful things to share with you in a couple of days is going to be 15th of february and that is a very wonderful day for us in love embassy of our nations Edmonds Security Ministries. For us, it's a time for us to receive a fresh word from the Lord. I'm so excited for the things I'm going to be sharing with you February 15th. It's amazing how the wonderful wind and sails of the Spirit is blowing that day. February 15th, we'll be having a wonderful conference in the church. It's not really an open conference, but I'm using this to give you a personal invitation. You can make it. 6.30 February 15, 2017, World Changes Day, a day you will never forget. God will touch your life, God will meet you at the point of your need, God will change things in your life by His Spirit. And if you are unable to come or you are watching Atmosphere of Love from outside India or from outside the state of Karnataka, which is uh, which Bangalore is the capital city. If you are far away from us and you cannot come, not a problem. Distance is not a barrier. God has made it so easy for us to come to your home through your phone, your smartphone. I told God's people, your phone is not smart at all if you are not keeping track of the teachings of God's word, the Bible and the Spirit of God enlightening you through your phone. It's not a smartphone. It's a slow phone. So make your phone smart. If you're not able to come, you'll be part of us from wherever you are. Distance is not a barrier. Live, it will be in the internet. And I'm so excited to announce this. It will be on Facebook and at the same time on YouTube. Whichever platform that is more comfortable for you, log into it. I remember I was driving uh, a very long distance. I was on a highway. And while I was driving, uh, that was Wednesday, and Bible study was going on in church. And I told my wife, honey, you touch your mobile. I want to join the service. And I joined the service from the highway. You may not be on the highway. Even if you're on the highway, you can join also, like I joined. So take advantage of it. February 15th is a very special time. Now, I want to give a very special acknowledgement to these names of people who changed uh, the level of uh, our media team to the next level where they can uh, stream our programs and our broadcast in two platforms. Uh, I want to thank Sister Priscilla. I want to thank Arup. I want to thank Premi. I want to thank Joshua. I want to thank Stephen Raj, John Wilson, Nalini Suchitra, Grace Narajini, Please pardon me. Beautiful name. Vanita Baya. Pardon. Vasha. Cecil Wilson. Pongate. And someone who gave. I will only call by you. The money you gave. And, 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 I mean, and if two people gave that. Then I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 3,500. Unknown person gave the Lord. Bl the Lord bless you. Cecilia Jerome and Ruth Sandeep. All of you are close to my heart and I thank God for what he's done in your life through responding to this. And now I'm able to bring the gospel into this two platform because you responded to this. I told the people that's the very first phase. We'll go to the next phase. I'm excited about it. 
I don't know about you. And so take these announcements very, very importantly. And I think I have some other very interesting things to tell you in the next AOL. And you get a lot of feedback for whatever that will be going on. This is Apostle Edmund saying to you, remain healed, remain free. Jesus is Lord. See you next week. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. For more information, please visit our website, www.ohoro.org, or write us via email, office at ohoro.org, or call number plus 9181-4790-8731. Don't miss our next broadcast. Remember, everything without love is nothing. Jesus is Lord.